Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today we are out here getting ready to harvest some more okra. I'm going to tell you it's going to always be more okras to harvest over and over and over again all the way until late summer even into the fall and you know it's the thing that we like to do here once our okra finally reach that stage where they don't want to grow anymore we'll chop them back and you know come in with some more amendments uh, fertilizer and so that way they can grow and we'll get a little bit more okra it won't be a whole lot but just a little bit okay so we are getting ready to harvest and I want to bring you all along with us here today and just kind of show you how we go about harvesting and what we do when we harvest the okros. All right, so let me grab my bowl and we're going to get on up underneath here and we're going to get to harvesting. All right, so here we have an okro. Uh, you could go maybe one more day, but um, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and harvest it, all right? So right there, and usually when I harvest my okro, what I like to do is take that leaf out all right take that leaf out because what this leaf is actually doing as well it's 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 rubbing energy from the plant so take it on out and let it go all right and so right here we have another one I'm going to go ahead harvest that now that is a, a decent size some people don't really like them this big but with this jambalaya okra this size right here is still tender and perfect just for the home. All right, and so right here uh, with this plant where I just harvest, right here we have a sucker that is coming up on this back side. There's no fruit. We're going to go ahead and take that sucker out and also that leaf. And so right here we have another okra. And Back here we have another one that could go maybe about another day. All right. And so we'll take that one on as well. And I'm telling you guys, okros is one of those plants that if you want to keep coming inside of the garden and harvest and harvest, okros is one of those plants to plant inside of your garden because they for they are forever given they're always given okay i harvest today and guess what tomorrow they will give me more okra mm -hmm. all right so it's basically one of those if you're looking for something that'll give you a high yield in your garden fruit or food that's prolific in growing a consistent harvest then okra should be on your list of things to plant yes And don't get me wrong, even though you see them big like this, they're still tender. Yep. Even this one I show you, still, still tender. tender. Yes. And for those of you that drink coffee and like coffee, if you find that your okra pods are not um, tender or you feel like they've gone beyond and they're uh, rough, what do you, how do you call it? Woody. Woody. And they're woody. You could actually pick those, uh, shell out the seeds inside, and roast them, and use them the same as you would coffee, or grind them and use them as flour. All right, guys. And so what I'm going to, like I said, they're here and they just they just keep on giving. Look at that. Every more. day or every other day. It's um right it's now. These okras, they're giving so much. I'm coming down here every day, all mm -hmm. right? Like you just see me skip some that I did not harvest that, that was simply too small. And so tomorrow those will be ready to be harvested. So these jambalayas, I'm coming out every day to harvest. That is how much they are given every day. Now I have uh, three and a half rows left to harvest. Let me go ahead, harvest those rows, and I'll catch you guys on over there on the end 
all right so stay tuned so far that right there is the harvest stay tuned catch you on the end all right okay and so look at that that is it right there for the harvesting of the okros now one thing if you are a uh, gardener that sell produce or looking to sell produce these okros right here is the way to go now of course we are out here harvesting today because uh, we actually do have a couple of places that um that need these okros okay so they actually want them processed and chopped freeze and then deliver so that's what our day is cut out for us now we do have some more that we have picked previously inside the refrigerator staying cool staying fresh and so we're going to get into um, chopping those up and get them just right but nonetheless guys okra is you the way to heart. go no, well, no 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 you know just okra is the way to go because okra have so much health benefit for you mm -hmm. all right i pretty much grow up on okra i even remember my aunt now what she used to do and i'm telling you guys this is a thing that you may see me use chicken manure here inside of the garden now um some part of the way i was raised up with my grandfather uh kind of hanged around his side a lot and was able to learn a lot of things um i was around my aunt uh you know learn a lot of things as well now i remember she used to put a few little okros out there in the you know out there in the yard and what she would do she would dig her hole put some chicken manure down in there drop about three or so seeds in and hey them okros they produce like crazy so a lot of this knowledge that you see me uh got here uh like all <laughs> like my somebody asked me and like i told my wife i said look um I went to the school that my forefathers them went to. Come okay? on. So that is a school that I went to because simply a lot of these things I'm learning as I go. Uh, the Mosai is given the knowledge. I'm just, you know, from, you know, reading different little books and, you know, watching other videos and different little stuff like that. Um, and it increases the knowledge. Um, and just from even doing stuff here, I said, hey, do it this way do it that way some of it here inside of the garden trial and arrows okay um, I did not just started planting two years ago <laughs> right. I actually have been planted for quite a while now mm -hmm. but the reason why I bring these videos because I used to have a lot of people that would ask me hey how you do this how you do that and I just said you know what hey let's make the YouTube channel that way we can answer quite a bit of the question that people may have Mm -hmm. All right, but I, I pray and I pray so far that it is uh, helpful to you guys, mm -hmm. okay? But nonetheless, that is the harvest right there for today, and that's a pretty good harvest. Yeah. And it was quite a bit that I did not cut that would be ready for tomorrow, mm -hmm. and I'll come on in and harvest those tomorrow. But I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there and remember remember i also have to remember this as well keep a smile on your face and first of all let it be a genuine smile and fake smiles we ain't with that let it be genuine okay love your brothers love your sister treat them the way how you want to be treated remember that like they always saying the little old saying that say hey calmer goes around and it comes back around okay what's her name calmer <laughs> and that's, and calmer that's, calmer calmer <laughs> hey look here brethren like me always tell us i'm a jamaican you know mm -hmm. now watch now ramp with me talking here what? don't ramp with me talking what? brethren Y'all go on like some. Are you may I talk to you? Y'all go on like some. Me always talk proper, Bridgen. Eh? 
But nonetheless, guys, we give you a little piece of that right there. So don't go on with it, run with it. Have a blessed day, all right? Come on. Remember to have a blessed day. Keep a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Remember, the most I love you, and I love you too. Yep, so do have we. Have a blessed day. All right, peace and blessings, guys. Yeah, may I talk all kind of Jamaican? <laughs>